Start to hit the lever there, dispatch from the 1400 meter marker. Internet Kid is right there shortly after the start. Days of Thunder's a little bit strong. I know has a good position shortly after the start. Global Village is also a fighter. If and when is near the rail. Bravo, Bravo goes around them. Ironborn, very similitude. Prince Charming at this stage is about seven lengths off the leader. That at the rail, then King Dada where to? Further back is Master of the Sea and then comes Winter Wolf. And White Lightning's one of the trailers. They stretched out about 12 or 13 lengths now as they move to the 700 meter marker. And about to come into the home stretch. The leader is I Know. I Know brings him in. Internet Kid is back second. In third position, Bravo, Bravo. Then If and When. Towards the inside, Prince Charming. Then comes Iron Born. Days of Thunders towards the outside. Then Winter Wolf further back. King Dada where to? I know still leads it. Internet Kid. Bravo, Bravo on the outside. Then Prince Charming. Days of Thunder. If and when is out the rail. 200 meters to go now. Internet Kid. I know is fighting right back. Bravo, Bravo's on the outside. Between them, if and when. Prince Charming on the outside. Internet Kid though. Bravo, Bravo. Prince Charming. It's wide open. White Lightning takes off. But Bravo, Bravo, I think won it. White Lightning and Internet Kid involved for second and third. Let's go back to the that slow-mo. Number 11, Bravo Bravo, will probably just win it. White Lightning flashes up very late on the outside. Internet Kid is on the inside. And it's 11, Bravo Bravo, just the leader. White Lightning closing, Prince Charming, Internet Kid. To the line they go, and Bravo Bravo just scrapes in. Gee, White Lightning came from trailer. He gets beaten that short head into second. Internet Kid and Prince Charming. There's only a neck covering the four runners. Further back in the run, also taking off late. It looks as though it is Arrow's Mark. Number 10, and at the rail, if and when. Iron Born, and then Days of Thunder. The tote favorite was number 9, and Prince Charming is involved for that minor positions. So let's look at those three off the right-hand side as White Lightning, that's the grey, really kicks in the latter stages. Of course, turning into the home stretch, I called it as one of the trailers. Bravo, bravo, the red sleeves and cap. Internet Kid. Prince Charming is towards the outside, and White Lightning is really taking off now. We'll watch that replay and see how many lengths he makes up. But number 11, Bravo Bravo, just scrapes in at 11, 80, and 310. The toad favorite was number 9. Number 15, it paid up 520 a place. That's the running of the third until the running of the fourth race, starting on the jackpot. Back to the studio. Well, what an exciting finish. Bravo, Bravo just holding on and white lightning coming from the absolute clouds. He was thundering through later on, but Barbara's got the winning formula. Bravo, Bravo. Last time out, he showed the expected improvement? Yes, yeah, he just took a bit of time to come to hand. Um, he's a very young and immature horse. Um, we still think the 14's a bit too sharp for him. You know, he's only going to be better over a mile 18. Um, but yeah, he won a great race today. You know, he's one of the first horses gone before he came into the straight. Uh, just well done to Keegan, to Mr. Crabier, to Dean, and everyone involved. Keeping Keegan fit this ride? Yes, yeah, <laughs> Keegan had to work on him. Um, but I'm just glad we got the win, and well done. Tell us about Mora, expecting a big performance? Y yeah, she's doing very well at home. Um, I think this might be her right race. Well done. Thanks, Sheldon. Well done to Barbara, Keegan de Mello. He's making his way back. And just looking at the body language, this fella, he made you work. Yeah, look, uh, he, he did make me work today, and uh, yeah, I think he's a nice type horse. I think um, he'd be better as a, as a three, four-year-old, you know, he's still immature and um, learning. So maybe after this, he'll probably have a little bit of a rest and uh, go for 18 when he's a three-year-old. You had a fight on your hands that last 200, and when you watch the replay, you'll see the grey that comes from an impossible position almost tags you. Yeah, look, myself and Bernie were going a long way um, down the straight, and uh, I thought I had him beat, but my horse just wasn't putting it in, and yeah, he got his head um, down in the right place, and uh, swallowed to Mr. Kenema, his team, Mr. Krabby, and asked to ride another winner for them. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done to Keegan de Mello. Bravo, bravo. And watch that run from White Lightning.
the lever there, dispatch from the 1400 meter marker. Internet kid is right.